Hey folks, Pete here with the River Kings. Pretty excited. I've got the new Two Enjoy crossbars on the Forerunner. I was finally able to get rid of these stock crossbars from my Toyota Forerunner. They've been on there since 06. I guess they did their job, but I've never been a fan. They rattled. They were kind of flimsy. They uh, they really never felt like they were locked in good. But they're gone now. Two Enjoy sent me their new updated crossbars, and I got to tell you, they look better and they're a little bit more substantial than the ones I pulled off that came with the truck. So I've been really enjoying this lift assist kayak rack. It makes getting the boat on and off a Forerunner a breeze. I've actually put it on and off a couple times just to flex on my friends. And I would never do that with the old J hooks or stackers or something. It's just, it's just a pain to get a boat on and off the roof of a car. This fixed all that. What I didn't love is the connection, the U-bolt connection that I had to use to put it on the stock forerunner crossbars. So to enjoy makes uh, their crossbar, which has a T slot in there and allows it to just attach super clean. And let me show you what that all looks like. So I took the end cap off so you can see the cross section and see what I'm talking about. In this top slot, there's a square washer and down through the top of here is a bolt into that square washer. And it just really comes on and marries up really nicely. That's clean, no muss, no fuss, no hangy dangy parts. I just like that a lot better. The rails themselves are also a lot more substantial than the stock ones I had. They're still a little flex and I'm pushing pretty hard on the kayak. You can see that little bit of flex there, but that's understandable. The old Forerunner crossbars really had a lot of movement. I just never felt the warm and fuzzies about those crossbars. So this is the only tool you need to do all the assembly and installation. So basically right here is one set screw that tightens the crossbar to the mounting hardware and also tightens the bottom hook and it kind of sandwiches your rails here. And one screw allows you to adjust in and out with your crossbar and the tightening of that. The installation went super simple and smooth. I actually installed them at the perfect distance so that it would fit the roof rack. That was my intent here. And even with being real precise with that measurement and getting everything perfect, uh, I think it probably took about 25 minutes. So that's pretty fast, pretty quick installation. Like I say, all you need is one Allen head and uh, they go on pretty fast. Wind noise is very low and I think most of it is actually just having the roof rack on there. I'll notice it less when there's a boat on there than when it's just the frame. And I think the aerodynamics of the boat kind of help there but it's not something you actually notice. It's only something I listened for and picked up. But I think I've heard that with almost every roof rack system I've ever used. There's no whistle, there's no weirdness to it. It's just, you can hear wind passing over something when I have the sunroof open. So full disclaimer, nothing's as aerodynamic as nothing, <laughs> if that makes sense. So when you put a big apparatus on top of your car, it's got to make a little noise. Uh, so if you're listening real hard, you can hear it. But, um, but yeah, there's no loud whistlings, there's no humming, there's no weirdness like that. So I was pleased with that. So I'm up here on the other side, you can see how clean the installation is. No muss, no fuss, no extra parts or screws or toggles hanging down like you see sometimes when you have to mount something to a crossbar. I really like that. So there's the mounting bracket. And again, let me show this to you with a little more detail. Um, because it's a T-slot style, they had to fill the top void with this rubber. And if you peel, you can peel that back. It comes right out. It does not come out when I'm driving. I hadn't had any issue, but you can see the installation screw that tightens everything down. So that's the thing that holds it all together in there. And then it allows you to adjust the crossbars front to back and it tightens this all in one. And then basically you pop that in there and it just goes right And You can slide it in or you can kind of work it a little bit either one seems to work fine so there's two things that i'm not 100 percent in love with and i think maybe they can improve a little bit and it would be even better but these little pieces of rubber which are necessary to fill that void um i'm not in love with them and here's why i think over time these would start leaving black marks on your gear it feels like that kind of rubber and if you use kayak racks and things like that you know there's nothing worse than setting a pretty kayak up on a rail and then having it leave black marks on your kayak. Uh, simple fix, you could just wrap that with some duct tape or something like that and you'd be fine. 
And also with time, if the sun made them a little bit more brittle, uh, would they be more apt to fly out and leave you with, um, you know, nothing on there? And these edges, I think if you left nothing up there, not only would I think a little hum start happening with that void, but I think uh, these edges might be prone to marking up your kayak, scratching and that sort of thing. So you're gonna, you're gonna wanna have something to fill that void. So uh, for what I'm using this rack for, which is primarily um, to hold this uh, lift assist system, it's absolutely perfect. If you were just regularly stacking kayaks up on the crossbars, I think you'd want maybe just a little something better there. Uh, and that's an easy fix aftermarket. Um, that's one thing. The other thing that bears noting um, that I wish was a little different is there's no security feature to this system. So in other words, if someone wanted to come and take your crossbars off, there's nothing stopping them from doing that as long as they have the right sized Allen key. And so if you live in a rough area or if you're gonna leave your car parked for an extended period of time somewhere unattended, um, it may make you a little more nervous knowing that someone with a little Allen wrench could take the stuff off your car. A lot of the big name brands um, will have these security features in there that disallow someone from removing the kayak rack. So having all that security will necessitate a lot more engineering, fabrication, manufacturing, parts, all that stuff. So the price is gonna be up and some of the top name crossbars are fairly expensive. Now, if you wanna lock your kayak up anyway, you're gonna have to find something else like a, a steel cable embedded strap or maybe just another um, cable lock to run around your, your crossbar rails. So that is what it is. That's where these come in at $69. So what they're able to do is deliver you rock solid crossbars for 69 bucks for the pair. That is, um, that's pretty good. There's not a whole lot to it, folks. It's crossbars. If you're looking to get in the crossbar game and you're looking on a budget, this is the perfect option. Above all else, you want your crossbars to stay on the car. You don't want anything flying off, anything to become unstable during driving and these do just that they they fit on there they look good no weird noises i gotta say i'm really enjoying them to enjoy give them a look